All right, here today we have a split screen baby monitor. So I think there's gonna be two cameras and then you can see them both on one little guy. So that's pretty fresh. Let's check them out. Let's see what's in the box. I don't think the baby's in here. Hopefully not, because I don't want any more babies. Oh, it's nice packaging, I'll say that. A little open tabs, pretty nice. It's very nice packaging, actually. Smart made simple. So it comes with a little booklet, a little user guide, and a quick start guide. We like that because I don't want to read this whole manual, but we have a quick start guide. It's more my speed. Let's get it and start working. And then, oh, very nice packaging. I like that. So you don't have to worry about getting damaged and shipping. That's cool. We got ourselves a little camera guy right here with a little antenna on it. I like that. Protecting the lens. Also very nice. Seems like it swivels. Probably shouldn't swivel it myself. I think it's a robot. And here we have the main attraction, a little speaker on the back, a little kickstand action. Hold you up. It's pretty nice. Nice packaging, I gotta say. Obviously, packaging is not the most important thing, but when they do nice packaging, that generally means they care about their product. Want it shipped nice and protected with these pads here. We got ourselves, I guess, three different power cords here. So we have a little USB A power brick. USB-C, we like that. Everything should be USB-C. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. No more micro USB. <laughs> I just said no more micro USB. And these are micro USB. I guess a little more micro USB. I was assume these guys plug in. Yeah, these will be micro USB. So you got a cord for each one of these fellers and then a cord for the main hub guy. This says keep the monitor and camera at least 15 meters slash 49 feet apart to avoid microphone feedback and that makes sense all right and then up here we have a little antenna action there's our little screen protector pull off there we go pulls it right off that's nice i thought it was gonna leave a little sticker on there but it doesn't here we have a menu button zoom button autopilot and talk button and a little arrow button let's just start plugging stuff in and see what happens that's how I like to do things. So, got a little icon there. This is battery powered. That's interesting. So then you gotta plug in the camera. Don't uh, strangle babies with it. I don't want to get too political, but I am also in favor of not strangling babies, of course. So, all right, there we go. It still turns on even though it's not fully charged up. I have one camera plugged in over there. We'll see what happens with it. All right, it's saying no signal from the other camera. Let me turn it on. So I turned on the second camera. Oh, there we go. It sees it. That's my wall. <laughs> That's a pretty good picture, I gotta say. It's beeping at me. See, like, this is my printer. There's my hand. So yeah, that's my wall. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in somewhere. Where it's not gonna be too awful looking in my house. There you go, there's my alien much here. And there's Dobby. There we go, so we can see the baby Dobby. There's no lights over here either. Like, there's my keyboard. Cause obviously I have the lights. I'm recording this, this. I'm very, very, very impressed with the camera quality on these things. I thought it was gonna be really, you know, not super great, but it seems all right. Oh, I can make it just one camera if I want. You can see, that's my corner. Look how cool my wall looks over there. So you can see, that's my microphone up there. It's my shelf, there's some plastic clean axes. Yeah, I still have these little tiles on my wall. Similar to those there, right? But it's different color over there. So let's take a look at the settings here. See if I can figure out what these settings do. Oh, look at that. You can even change the lens to like a wide angle lens if you wanted to. You had to buy it separately, but it, works you can uh wall mount the camera which is very nice if you need to add another camera you could so that's the signal strength up here it tells you what current camera you're on this is two over here and this is one over here current temperature it says it's 68 degrees and 69 on two sides of my basement so 68 on this side over here and then 69 on this other side night vision you can turn on if it's in a dim environment it tells you current time it's not the right time of course i'll set that i guess alarm on off talk back on off i'll turn talk back off all right there we go now i'll turn the talk there's a little mute symbol there so it, i turned the talking off there's a battery indicator that's this green one in the middle it's charging so that's pretty cool here's your menu so if we do menu speaker volume right here and this one is brightness there's eight different levels this button Right there is the camera button. So if you wanted to add another camera, you could. This button is the alarm. So if I want to hit, I guess, OK there, we could turn it to two hours, four hours, six hours, or set a certain time. It's pretty nice. And then this button is settings. So up top, we have the time. So if we want to set the time, right now it says 620. We can change that if we wanted to. I don't care about that. System and sound volume. So here's a system. You can make it low, high, or mute it. 
This one is the temperature, so you can change this from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you want. All right, this icon is not very clear. That is auto sleep time, so it makes it go to sleep at a certain time, I guess. This icon is restored factory settings. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's very nice. This here is customer service contact. So it gives you an email address, a phone number for North America, for Asia, and for Europe. That is very, very nice. I don't see that. I do a lot of technology reviews on this channel here, and I don't see that very often built into the product itself. So under split screen mode, press left or right button and then select one or two, and let's select two. All right, press the zoom button and to zoom in for, so, oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go, so you can see a little Dobby in there. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Press and hold the zoom to start auto circulating. So hit it for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're looking up. All the way up. That's my ceiling. You can see the little popcorn ceiling. All right, we're going back down. I don't know what the use for that is, but there we go. Oh, man, you gotta go down and see oh, what's in my chair. There's my... All right, I got phone cases in my chair. I'm glad I zoomed that in, so you don't wanna see what kind of mess I have over here. All right, when viewing the camera, press left, right, and up, down to view at different angles. Oh, there we go, look at that. So there we go, I said I'm gonna move the camera. So that's pretty cool. So go right back to where I was. There's my Alienware chair. And let me scroll up to see, oh, that is awesome, actually. So yeah, I don't know the auto pan one. I don't know what the use of that one is. And look how clear it is. That's a microphone right there. That looks very clear to me. I can tell what that is. That's a light right there. That's hard to tell here because of the checkered background, but there's my Eero router. Again, my Alienware chair. So you can see the colors. That's the blue in my Alienware chair. I don't know that's coming across on camera. It looks really good on this screen. I mean, I am very impressed with how well the screen looks. And that's my Dell laptop. Just left there all akimbo and a bunch of phone cases. I was making videos on other stuff today. Get you back up to Dobby. And then we'll zoom back out there, all right? And we'll go back to menu, go back to camera, and we'll go back to camera two now. Here's my Amazon Echo plug. You can see that pretty clearly there. I have it tied to, well, it's a, I have like a noise maker in there, like a bug deterrent thing. Here is my printer with some emergency tape next to it. I was gonna use that for a video and I never did. And here's like a wall with like power strips. So you can see there's cords. I mean, it's a big mess over here. And you can see that's where that little wall tiles in because I have this pipe here that makes it confusing for my walls to set up. And this is where one of those stickers fell off. So yeah, I mean, that camera quality is top notch. Yeah, I mean, this is not at all what I was expecting. And then you can go to two cameras at once. That's pretty nice. So I mean, there I know Dobby's over here and I know my printer's use there, All right? It's pretty good. And then you can use night vision. Oh, they have infrared LEDs in there and temperature alerts. So yeah, I don't know what's better than this, buddy. You got two kids in two different rooms. You can keep an eye on both of them. You can pan and zoom around. You can check the ceiling to make sure there's no monsters on the ceiling for them. I mean, I gotta say, big thumbs up. This is pretty nice. And there's no app involved. There's no, you don't gotta log into any accounts. It's all just straight up right here. Just a little signal action inside your house. So yeah, it gets the big thumbs up. I like it. So I mean, you can use it to talk back and forth. I heard myself, it's hard for that quality is not gonna come through on my camera from here. So just trust me, I can hear myself. It sounds pretty good. So it gets a big thumbs up right there. Look at that, there it is. All right, that's it. Thanks for checking me out.